Well, how about this then? I bet you've never seen a little RC conversion that looked just like this. My little stumpy, as I called it at the time, has undergone a radical redesign. But before taking a closer look at this, let's take a look at the original design and a couple of redesigns that followed. The first one was a pusher design, and as you can see from this test flight, it flew like a brick. In fact, a brick could probably fly better. So then I added a small canard, extended the vertical stab, moved the wings a bit, gave it another <laughs> shot, which was also, as you can see here, not a great success. So in the end, I broke it up and it went in the bin. Anyway, winter's here, no flying, plenty of time on my hands, and so I decided it was time to give it another makeover. So I came up with the idea of adding an elevator. But moving on, a couple of days from that, it soon became apparent to me that it would never work there because it would add too much weight to the, the back of the model, making it difficult to achieve centre of gravity. So moved it forward, elevated it onto the vertical stab, which I think looks very pretty. And then moving on a day or two more, servos are in, kept well forward to keep the weight forward. Elevator servo was in, electrics were in, and it was ready for a maiden. So how do you think that went? Let's see. Test light of Stumpy version. Wish me luck with that. Whoa, man, it actually flew. It was climbing a bit too much, but that actually looked like it was gonna fly. Push the nose down a bit, put it on low rate. That looks like it's going to fly, chaps. Oh, no. oh. trying to fly. Centre of gravity problem, maybe. Well, it's flown better than the first two versions. Oh no wonder, look where the battery went to, that's why. Look at that, right, battery's got to go back there. Now we might have some chance with it now, let's see. Half throttle, low rates. Are we ready? No, almost. Needs a bit of right thrust, left trim. It flies. Just about, not very stable. Can't get it back here. I've seen where it went. See, that's the joy of model finders. I can hear it, and here it is. Still in one piece. But I need to put a dam in for the battery because every time it goes in, the battery's moving forward, but I'm moderately pleased with that. Moderately. Well, back at home now, after that not particularly brilliant second, third or fourth maiden or whatever it was, I think basically I had just got better at controlling what was an extremely unstable model. But I had a stroke of luck there. One of the other guys flying up there is a brilliant RC aircraft designer, and he said, he works on 17.5%, draw a line from there to there, 17.5% of the cord there, 17.5%, take the midpoint, which is there, and that gives you the centre of gravity on a plank. Also went online and using a, a free centre of gravity calculator for a swept wing, checked out, put in the figures, and guess what it came up with? So that was the 17.5% position. That was the online calculator position. So I And I've been working on something like here, which just goes to show you can't guess the center of gravity position for swept wing designs. So I think it's fair to say that the main reason this has been a total fail right from the start when it was a pusher or every other design it's had was because I've been working on the wrong center of gravity. 
and check this out little tip here I've actually marked that center of grab position with a couple of panel pins so that I can put my fingers out and actually feel that so out of curiosity let's see see just how much extra weight it needs in the nose to achieve that center of gravity so this is with the lipo well forward and about 70 grams of lead nope still can't do it add another 25 grams so that's 100 grams of lead in the nose still can't do it so actually to get the desired center of gravity on this that's 100 grams of lead and lipo right up front and it is still not balancing there so you, it's easy to see why this is a total fail the only way I'd realistically get this to fly now would either be extend the nose I don't know by about how much by about this much I've been looking at plank designs and they've all got long noses for a start which obviously helps keep the weight well forward I had no idea really but that is that's the advantage of doing this kind of self-design stuff you learn so much about design and the best way to get things flying anyway so the solutions are, are either completely do away with this have a bigger nose or just completely do away with it and put it back in the bin but I think for now I'm not going to do any more with this I've got other projects I'm working on including this five pound foamy that I saw in my radio control model shop that I'm planning to convert to RC with two little brushed motors here and I've made quite a few conversions of these little cheap little type chuck gliders a mini single a mini twin and even a mini four motor version plus as I say several of the large littles they're all on my channel but for the moment Stumpy is going to go on the shelf until I get really desperate for another project but it, it's been an interesting exercise all the same and I hope maybe it's been interesting for you guys so that's all for now don't forget to check out my channel if you've enjoyed this please give it a like and if you want to see the hopefully successful maiden of this little foamy jet why not subscribe Anyway, that's all for now. Thanks for watching. Hopefully I will catch you all again later. Bye for now.